I am Dr. Monica Khetarpal. I am Associate Professor of Physics in Government Dungar College, Bikaner. I welcome you all to a virtual lab experiment. This is my third experiment the, and the experiment that we are going to perform virtually is VI characteristics of PN junction diode. This we will do using LT SPICE. LT SPICE is a software which is based on analog electronic circuit simulator computer software. Now how to install this LT SPICE simulator? In order to install this LT SPICE simulator we have to go to any browsing application. For example, we can use Google Chrome and then we can type LT SPICE. Once you do that, you will get a set of links. Pick on the first link LT SPICE. On this page, then click on a download option. This will download your LT SPICE simulator. Once you have downloaded LT SPICE simulator, then you have to click on the downloaded file and install the simulator. When we open the our LT SPICE simulator, then the window that appears will look like this. Now click on file, then on new schematic, then a grid like window will open. Now in order to perform an experiment, first of all we have to add title. For this purpose, we have to click on the icon which is shown as text. This is our text icon. Now I am clicking on, on it and since we are performing an experiment on VI characteristics, so I am typing it here VI characteristics of PN junction diode. I have typed my title that I am performing and on typing I am clicking OK. Then I am placing it in the center of my grid window. I have placed it in the center and on placing it on the center, I am clicking it. So my heading has been placed on the center of my window. The various type of tools that are available to us on the bar are, this is new schematic, we have used it, this is open and this is save. And in order to run our circuit, we will use this run, which is a very important tool. And there are some other icons. And in this, no eraser is available. We have to use this cut, which is shown by a scissor. And in order to make the wires, that means to complete the connection, there is a pencil icon here. In order to use different type of electronic components, for example, ground, resistance, capacitor, inductance, these diode, these all are available here. So we can add resistance, capacitance, ground, inductor and diode. The components which are not available here. For this purpose, we can use the icon shown by a AND gate, it is called as component. Here we can get any type of component, for example, BJT, FET, voltage source and many more components we can obtain from here. So I am going to draw the required circuit for VI characteristics of PN junction diode. 
the first component that is needed to me is diode so i am choosing my diode we know that this is the symbol of diode so in order to pick this diode we will select it we will select it and take it down and to make it in the appropriate direction i will rotate the diode using control r this is my required direction i have placed my diode in my appropriate direction i will press it on the board my uh, my point has been fixed so i am pressing it on the board so students you can see that my cursor it is still a diode in order to make it in the shape of a cursor i have to press escape to get it back to the cursor as a plus sign now i will bring all the other required components on the board first of all the other component that i am in need is the resistance so i am picking my resistance from the icons given this is the resistance i am bringing it on the board in a proper point this is my resistance i am placing it and pressing so my cursor has again become a resistor in order to change it i am pressing escape now i need a voltage source voltage source is not available on the icons which are provided to me so for this purpose i will take it from the symbol shown as and gate that means component i am pressing it and typing it voltage and pressing okay so i have been provided a voltage source now i am placing it in an appropriate point i have placed it and on placing it i have to press so i have placed my three components diode resistance and voltage source and i am pressing escape so as to get again a cursor now i am in need of the next component that is ground choosing ground and i am placing it on the window so all the required components are available to me on the board now i will make the connections using a pencil so press on the icon shown as pencil this will make my pencil as wire a large plus sign type dotted line appears i am completing my connection between diode and a voltage source now between diode and a resistance a connection will be made this complete my connection between diode and resistance now between resistance and the voltage source a connection will be made so i am pressing so as to complete the connection between a resistance and a voltage source now i need to connect ground this completes my circuit all the desired connections are 
made. Now, what I have to do? I have to assign the values to the components. Now, in order to assign, first of all, I am starting with resistance, which is labeled as R1. I have to hover over the resistance. This will make a symbol of hand. Now, once a hand symbol appears, right click on the symbol. Now, enter the desired value. For example, I am choosing my resistance to be 1 kilo ohm. So, I am using the value 1 k and pressing OK. This will make my resistance to be 1 kilo ohm. Now, I have to choose my diode. So, I have to hover over it and when this hand appears, I have to click and I am picking new diode. I am choosing the first type of the diode and pressing OK. So, I have been assigned a diode symboled as 1N914. Now, similar I will do for voltage source. Right click and DC voltage that I will use is 5 So, I have been used a value of 5. Now, my circuit is complete. Now, we want to draw the forward and reverse bias characteristic curve that are DC characteristic curve of PN junction diode. So, first of all, I will draw only forward bias characteristic curve. So, I am clicking on the running man so as to run it. Then it opens a window which is edit simulation command. Now in this edit simulation command first of all select DC sweep. Then I have to select name of first source to sweep. Since the voltage source is V1 so I am typing here V1. The type of sweep that we are in need is linear. I have to assign a start value. I am taking my curve starting from 0 and the stop value I am taking is 5 volts and the increment that I am using is 0 0.02 volts. So, I have to click OK. Now, we can see that below a DC source a statement will be written which is shown like this. This shows the assigned value and the increment. We can see that a new window also has been opened where our output will be available. Now we have to see our output. So right click on the window and add then on add traces. Since we are drawing voltage with current. So, we have to choose current here and press OK. We can see that our forward bias characteristic curve has been obtained. This curve is almost 0 up to 0.6 volts and after 0.6 volts it the current rises to a high value up till 5 volts. This is only our forward bias characteristic curve. Now, we have to draw reverse bi bias characteristic curve. For this purpose, go back to the circuit and we have to right click on the point that is DC. What we are doing? I am changing my start value which was initially 0 to minus 5 and stop value to 
0 increment being the same 0 0.02 and I am running my and pressing ok and I am running my program this will give us the trace like this here the current is in nano ampere we can see this is the relation between I and V when we obtain our curve in reverse bias. So, here instead of making the forward and reverse bias characteristic curve on a same graph, I have just changed the values initial and final values which were initially from 0 to 5 to a value minus 5 to 0. In a forward bias, we have current in milliampere whereas in reverse bias the current is in nano ampere. So, we have plotted the two graphs separately they are not plotted on a single graph. We can save our graph using an icon save. So, students I have described all the basic steps of LT spice has been covered up in this video. Using LT spice we will perform many more experiments. So, I think students this must be very beneficial for you. This is a very basic experiment that you can easily perform by downloading LT spice on your laptop. I have already stated the steps to download the LT Spice simulation. Thanks a lot for watching.